Hey, so I just watched uh, The Sound of Metal, and it was really good. I had a couple of gripes with it, though. Uh, it's still the best movie that came out a couple days ago. I'm also going to be watching Mank. I already watched She Dies Tomorrow, but didn't feel compelled to make a review off of it, since I didn't really know what to say, and I was really mixed on it, and wasn't sure how to organize that into a review. But uh, with this movie, I feel like I can more organize can really say my thoughts you know uh this one i give an 8 out of 10 uh my main issue with it is that i really didn't care throughout the mill act of the movie about like this is gonna sound really bad by the way without context uh i really didn't care about the the deaf community <laughs> now i don't mean like real life deaf community i mean like the deaf community center in the movie like the mill act i didn't care about any of those characters or like that situation that the main character got in. i just thought it was really boring and really over long and it just dragged and was super slow so i was mad that that was over half the movie and that we only got like less than half the movie with Olivia Cook, who is a compelling character, and her eccentric French dad, who was only in it for like less than 20 minutes, who is also a compelling character. So it's just kind of a bummer that instead of being with those people, we kind of just end up with kind of blank slate characters throughout most of the runtime of the movie. And I get it, you're still exploring like the themes of like being deaf and stuff like that which is good to do you know representation and all that that's all good stuff but like just don't make it so boring <laughs> and like if the character learned way more then maybe it would be interesting but like the ending shows i only basically had one takeaway so i don't really know what was the whole point of spending so much time there when he already said when he was at the center that, like, he wasn't really caring for the things that they were teaching and that he was going to go a different path anyway. So that's like, so then why did we spend so much time there? I don't understand. And at the end of the movie, right before that, they're talking about all these things that they had to still, like, uh, do in the movie without showing them ever do it, it, doing it because the movie ends first. And I'm like, why didn't the movie just spend its whole, like, if it wanted to spend half of the movie in one of the three acts, it should have spent it in the third act because as he just stated, there's so much he needs to do. He needs to get his life back on track while he's with his girlfriend and her dad. So it's like, why didn't it spend half the movie there? Because that's a much more interesting place to be at, where he's trying to, like, rebuild his hearing senses. And it just feels like it, that would have made a much more compelling place to spend uh, half the runtime than at that center, where he learns nothing, basically, other than one thing which takes him about an hour just to learn one simple thing that the audience has learned in 20 other movies, which is basically the simple cliche of stuff to smell the roses and take in those quiet moments of calm. And it's just like, why? <laughs> it's just, uh, it, it, it just infuriates me because I was, I was really hoping for like, that to be so much longer than it was in the third act and when it was by far the shortest act that made me really sad and i get that they mostly want to leave you wanting more but you're they're not gonna make a sequel i don't think so it's just frustrating to see like the ending going by way too fast that sort of third act it just it could have developed that way way more in ways that are kind of easy instead it just feels like it's somewhat of a troll uh, but other than that, I really liked it. I thought how it manipulated audio and visuals was really cool. The performances were very passionate, especially from the three big celebrities attached. Uh, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say about this.